In the eastern United States, only for a few weeks every 17 years, fly fishermen get to experience one of the best insect hatches imaginable. Large cicadas emerge by the millions. Many of them fall into the water to be eaten by fish. This year, that hatch occurred over some prime wild trout waters, home to some big browns. I stocked my fly box with cicada dry flies in anticipation of the hatch. What I didn't anticipate when the thunderstorms were happening that day, they rose the water to just the right level for the prime stream of fishing. A combination of cicadas and streamers looked like the best big fish adventure I've ever had. Measured at 17 inches, the girth is crazy. Alright guys, so this part of the series, part 3, it's all streamers. If you want to see the cicadas, you got to watch part 1 and 2. I want to show you real quick. The streamer that I was using to catch most of these fish. Just a little tan scalping right here. And uh, if you guys are interested in uh, purchasing a fly like this, I'll drop the link to my uh, Etsy store in the description. But I'm uh, selling flies like this. If you'd like to buy some, check it out. It help me out a little bit too. Thomas had a hit and miss on the cicada. See if he eats my bugger. There he is. Oh, came off. It's a decent brown. There's gonna be a big boy up in that. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Check out this brown. Thomas just nailed a beautiful 17 inch brownie on the streamer. Another 15 inch brown. Crushed the, the artic big articulated streamer this time. Another brown. This guy's about 12 inches probably. Maybe 13. Fat one, but eating the streamers today. So that's three fish in probably what 15 minutes? Starting to turn on. Yeah. Get close. spot doesn't look amazing, but it looks alright, based off of uh, how the fishing has been the last few minutes. Figure out turn the camera on. Fish. Do you see it? Wasn't a big one, but... Hey! Oh no. I just got wrapped. Got it. Get off. Oh, now you got it. Thomas just got one on the cicada. On the dry. Got one.
Hey, you see this one? There he is. It's a solid like 11 inch fish. Pretty guy. Got one. Might have been the same one that followed me the first time, about the same size. Big one? Oh! <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's a trap. Ooh. That is a nice native. See if he let's see if he eats mine. That first fish was more like fifteen. So this little slot right here? Yeah. Be nice if we get a, a double up like that. I will jump. I got this one, he's not that big. Right here. Guess, oh, I said, darn, I guess I'm up. I cannot believe it. About the same length as the last one. It's about a little squishy, too. Yeah. Look at this brown. Measured at 17 inches. The girth is crazy. Okay. I lost the fish while we were taking pictures. He's gone. It's not a giant, but it's a solid fish. Oh, 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 you, there's a bigger one with it. You see it? Dude, look at that big one. You see it? Oh, oh. Look at that. He's just falling. Thinking about eating. Thinking about eating? Dude, that bigger one is... Dude, how big do you think that is? <laughs> you keep putting a streamer on? I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera. There is a very large brown trout. This side here is probably a 13 or 14 inch brown. And there was a second brown that was following in this fish that was uh, significantly bigger than this guy. I'm gonna let this guy go. You think he was trying to eat that fish? Dude, that was a big brown. You walk up and try the head. Huh? 
Decent. See all the way at the top? Oh, well, not quite. I'm surprised you didn't need to skate it. Of course, uh, we just turned off the camera because uh, I just fished through this run. Same run that I was just fishing, and I just caught this absolutely gorgeous brown. Look at that. That is a nice fish. 16, 15, and a half. Yeah.